Haha, ha. hey, what up, guys? It's Trevor back with another Trevor's Phone Reviews video. And in this HD tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Nintendo Switch. Is it something that a hardcore gamer should pick up, or is it something that is only good for casual gamers? Let's roll the intro and get into this video. <sighs> Hey, what is up everybody? We're looking at the Nintendo Switch. So is the Nintendo Switch really worth it for what it is? Well, as you see, it's very, very portable. You can hook it up to your TV so you can play gaming on a big screen like a 50 inch TV. So it is pretty cool for that. So right at the top of the screen, you just take this little lever and you open it and then you take your little like memory card looks like an SD card to me and then you just slide that bad boy in like so and you just hit that power button right there and now it will be loading and to be completely honest with you this system is more for like that casual gamer or for that hardcore Nintendo fanatic. I don't believe it's something that's going to change an Xbox or a PC gamer to use. But if you want something you could take on the road with you. Or just casually play in your living room on the TV. Then why wouldn't you want to uh, pick up one of these? You can get Doom. You can get a couple third party uh, titles that are kind of like uh shooter games and gorier games besides just the, the nintendo titles that everybody knows and you also have the ability to play like mario kart online the biggest game for this so far right now is zelda game that's what everybody's excited for the same game that is on the wii u it is mario kart deluxe and we'll show you sample footage of that but i want to say i am playing behind the camera so if i suck ass that is uh why because it's hard to play behind a uh, camera while you're playing this game. Oh, look at those drifties, baby. And who remembers Mario Kart for like the Nintendo 64 or the Nintendo Super Nintendo? Those games were awesome. These are a lot more like, I think what Nintendo does great and they do it better than anybody else they make party games they make games that people want to play that people want to like have a few cocktails and play with their homies at their house oh no red red shell ass wipe what nintendo is good at is making these uh first party titles that are fun and exciting for kids or for just people who want to play with their friends so what i say for this is guys this kind of console is for casual gamers or people who like to have little game parties with their friends. And this could be a console that you hook up in your living room and you play at like Christmas birthday or some celebration with your family. It is a 720p display so it is still HD quality. So when you want to hook it up to your TV. You're going to put it in this little holster like this. And then you see instantly the screen turn off. Now you turn your TV on. And this little controller that you can take off the Nintendo Switch as I'll pan over here. Will now allow you to play it on the TV. So we'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see, the quality for uh, hooking up to your TV just looks like any other Nintendo uh, product. It's still a uh, great console. Like I said, it's still good for the parties. It's, oh, come on now. It's still great for getting a little console for your kid. Or even if you want a little console for yourself just so you can uh, casually play games without getting stressed out by playing like Gears of War or 
Madden or something like that, you could pick this up and have fun for hours. Because, like I said, this game I've only played a few times, and it really doesn't take too much talent to actually figure out how to play the game. But can't you tell that the quality is really, really good? I at least think the quality is really good. There's no way that I know that you can physically record the, um, like you can't do any live gaming off of the uh, Switch or anything like that. But what you can do is play against other players. You can shop on their Nintendo store. But uh, as always, guys. That is my take on the Nintendo Switch. Is it a worthy console of getting something for the price that it is, like 299 bucks? Is it really worth that price point? I think it is for somebody who's just casually gaming, somebody who isn't super hardcore in the gaming, and somebody who wants to just pick up a game and be able to play it anywhere, anytime. Then pick it up and enjoy it, because for what it is, it's actually very unique but it does not appeal to a lot of hardcore gamers I think if you're a super hardcore gamer like a twitch streamer or something like that it really isn't appealing to those guys it's more appealing to the casual gamers someone who just wants to play when you have your like niece or nephew over or just have in your living room so when somebody gets bored they're like oh you got a Nintendo Switch let me try it out And is this something you can play outdoors? I would say not really because it's a very reflective screen. So as you can see, you can barely even see the actual game. So you're basically seeing me behind the camera. And I am sitting in shade. So I would say if you're outdoors trying to use this, it's not going to be a viable option for you. But if you're indoors in a car, on a plane, this is going to be something that's cool. You also have this little like kickstand that uh, pops out and you can plop up your uh, Nintendo Switch like that. And that's where your uh, micro SD card slot goes right over there. But this is the Nintendo Switch that you can get at Best Buy or any uh, game store. It does have HDMI, so that's how it does plug into your HDTV. And if you want to take off these little uh, controllers, you just hit this button. And you have the ability to slide off or, or slide on the uh, controller itself. But that is the Nintendo Switch and all its... Uh, all its uh, glory personally I'm not a huge Nintendo fan I'd rather play an Xbox or a PlayStation that's just what I prefer but for the games that I've seen on here which is Mario Kart Deluxe 8 and the Zelda game I think it's a pretty cool option they do have like I said, Doom and some other third-party options that are more of a hardcore gamer. That's what I believe the Nintendo Switch is all about. It's not something that is meant to compete against the Xbox or against the PlayStation 4. Because we all know those are way more for hardcore gamers. But as always, guys, that is my video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by and watching this HD tutorial. Thanks, guys.